I'm Meredith and I work here at the East Providence Public Library and we're starting a new community art project where we're asking members of the community to make on your own at home flowers out of old book pages, discarded books. So we will provide the discarded book pages. You will cut or tear them out of the book at home and use some of your own supplies and your own creativity to make flowers that you will return to the library. So you'll definitely need scissors, a glue gun, glue sticks are preferable. You could probably use regular glue or tape, but it won't be as easy and you'll have to be a little more creative there. Um, so you'll start with the book pages torn out. You can use as many or as few as you like. I like to do three, but you could do one, five, whatever. Um, you could even mix in some colored paper or tissue paper like this one. Or you can use marker or paints to add color to the book pages. Um, so you'll start by cutting a circle. The bigger your circle is, the bigger the flower is. And then you're going to continue cutting like a spiral. I won't do it, but you can see here, you'll just cut all the way around into the center so that you have a spiral. And you can do just a straight or a, a round edge, or you could cut it in this scalloped way, whatever you like. Um, so to transform this then into the flower, you're just going to roll it. So you'll start with the outside. And I like to give it a little fold to get the, the rolling started. Oops, and try to keep all the pieces together. But it's okay if it's imperfect. And you wanna roll it um, fairly tight in between your fingers, around and around. until you get to the center where it will sit on the final circle piece in the center. So, and then something important is you wanna like let it loosen so it's not too tight. You want it to look like a flower that's kind of open. And then you just wanna let it sit on there. 